Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this QR code generation tool to your Blogger website. Now in the previous videos, I had shown you how to create this using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So if you want to learn how to do that, you can watch the previous videos. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And I will also leave the link of the source code so you can just copy and paste the code to your websites. So in this video, I'll show you how to add this to your Blogger website. Let's get started. <laughs> Right here, I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website. So you can add this design into a post or a page. If you want to add it inside a page, you can just go over here to pages and click on new page and add it over here. I'll just add it to a post. So let's click on posts and let's click on new post. And the first thing you have to do is uh, you have to change this into the HTML view. So by default, it will be in the compose view. So you can just click on this button and click on HTML view. And I'll just change the title to QR code generator. Right now here we need to add the code. So we need to add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So first of all, let's add the CSS. I'll just create a style tag for that. And in this style tag, we will add the CSS. So let's go to our source code. And let's go to the styler CSS file. And let's copy all the CSS from here. And I'll just paste it over here. And uh, now let's go ahead and paste the HTML. So outside this style tag, let's go back and uh, paste the HTML from here. So let's go to the index.html file and I'll just copy and paste this HTML from here. I'll also copy the script tag from here and I'll just paste it over here. And the last thing we need to do is add the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag for that. And in the script tag, we will add the JavaScript. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file and let's copy everything from here and let's paste it over here inside the script tag. Now here we can see we have all these uh, details over here so you can go ahead and make changes to whatever you want. So by default at the beginning it will show this message in the QR code. So if you go back to our design and if you go to the QR code, if I hover over this, we can see by default it says write something in the text field and click on generate QR code button. Now you can go ahead and change this message to anything you want. So you can change that over here in this message variable over here. And uh, then we have this uh, heading and uh, this uh, button text over here. So you can change these to whatever you want. This is the heading and this is the button text. And then if you go back to the main.js file here, we also have some options for the QR code. So you can also change the color of the QR code. So if I just change this dark color to red. And if you go back here, we can see we have a red QR code. So in this way, you can change these colors to whatever you want. And then you can also change the height and the width. So you can make all these changes over here inside this design. Right now, let's go back to our post and uh, let's click on publish and confirm. All right here, we can see our post has been published. Let's click on view. And here we can see we have our generate QR code tool. And here we can see for this uh, heading, we don't have a black color. So that's because for the theme, all the headings have this color right here. So let's go back to our post and uh, let's just change the color of this heading to black. So here for the H2, let's type color and I'll just set it to black. And let's click on update. Right now, let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page. And now we can see we have the correct color for our heading. And uh, this is the QR code by default. And let's type something and let's see whether the QR code is generated correctly. So I'll just type hello everyone. And let's click on generate QR code. And now we can see we have a new QR code and uh, let's hover over this. And we can see it says hello everyone. So it is working all right. Now this is also completely responsive. So if I decrease the width of this browser window, now we can see we have a different uh, layout. So it is completely responsive. Now here we can see we are using a font called Poppins. So if you go back to our CSS, here we can see we are using this font called Poppins. And uh, right now the font is installed on my system. That's why we can see that the font is displayed over here. But when you add this design to your website, you have to add the link of the font. So I'll just show you how to do that. For that, you have to go to fonts.google.com and let's search for the font over here. You can just search for it over here and uh, let's click on this font 
and we can select the styles that we need so in our design we can see that we just have two different styles we have the bold version and regular version so let's go back and uh, let's select this regular 400 let's scroll down and let's select a bold version I just select this one right here bold 700 and now you have to click on this button called view selected families and here we can see we have this link that we can paste into our website and if you scroll down we also have a link for the CSS so you can paste any of these links over here I just copy this one right here and let's go back and paste it inside the CSS so here I just paste the line of code and now you can simply click on update and uh, the post will be updated with the correct font so that's basically how you can add a QR code generator to your blogger website. Alright, so that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.